This is Tom Meyer, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. I want to give you a quick update on a few things happening here. Uh, just so you know, we have D.A.R.E. graduation tonight at the elementary school for our fifth grade. Uh, this week on Thursday night already, we have our first outdoor track meet for the high school girls and boys, and that is at Northeast. Go out and cheer them on. Hopefully weather cooperates. Next week, starting up April 3rd, we have boys and girls golf. Girls team is at home versus Cascade at uh, Bellevue Golf Course. And the boys are away at Cascade at Fillmore Golf Course. And then on the 4th, next Tuesday, we have girls track at Comanche and boys track track at Edgewood Colesburg. So those are a couple things there. Um, also want to let you know on April 6th and 7th next week we have state FBLA competitors out at Coralville working to uh, move on to national competition that way. Already two people are going to be advancing nationals. Uh, Emma Kelchin and uh, Rebecca Schrader with Microsoft Word. Congratulations to them already for being in the top. And then also next week we have uh, April 6th boys track at Tipton. So a lot of things happening around and everything like that. Middle school track has started. Soccer has started with Marquette Catholic. All kinds of good stuff happening. I want to kind of highlight our brochure here that our middle school students started off with. Many of you have this already at your house. If you haven't, it will be get to being delivered soon to you. But I um, want to just highlight a few things here. You know, we talk about we think, we engage, and we personalize learning for people. And then the following here, really we want to work on connecting and collaborating with others as well. Um, there's a lot of different information in there. One thing I want to hear is our graduation rate above 95% over the last seven years that way with 300% markers over the years. We work to get our students through school. And part of that comes from that personalizing and engaging and allowing those critical thinking skills to really come out. Uh, we're proud of that there. Also, our graduates are leaving uh, high school here with a, an average of 17 college credits, and many of them in the upper 20s, 30s, and up to 50 college credits. We had the article in the paper a few uh, months ago, I guess, on Devin Keeter and Corbin Still Monkus. They'll graduate with nearly 50 credits in the 40s, somewhere nearly 50. It's pretty amazing when you start thinking about it. It's about $150 a credit. You can do the math there, but we're saving our parents and our students or and or our students several thousands of dollars that way. Uh, very good investment that way. We also talk a little bit about the real life class. Uh, there they get six weeks of a of uh, auto and home repair, six weeks of financial literacy, talk about APR rates, renting a, a house or a condo, an apartment, uh, buying the mortgage rates, balancing a checkbook, investments, all kinds of different things that way to be aware of as people leave high school and move out on their own. Then we also have six weeks of the overall wellness, nutrition, family consumer science type things that way, talking about balanced meals and everything like that. So a lot of great things in here uh, and then all of our extracurricular activities. But we want to connect with our community. We want to collaborate with our community and make it great in so many ways. And I believe we've really done that through many of our classes, working with our community, our tech math, our Bellevue Big program and things like that. So it's kind of where I'm at today with that. But I also want to connect, something to connect that is a book called The Originals by Adam Grant. And kind of what it talks about here is uh, it's a book just talks about ideas here. Um, going on here, uh, recognizing good ideas and speak up without getting silenced. Parent can, parents can raise creative children and leaders can build cultures that fight groupthink and promote innovation. Uh, talks about a lot of different things here anyway from the Segway, that little motorized vehicle type thing that was going to be a huge hit and overtake transportation. They're still out there but not very many. Uh, to the TV show Seinfeld that started off like everyone's saying this show's never going to make it. Ends up being the longest running TV show of all time and everything like that with Jerry Seinfeld. So just a, a book out here if anybody ever wants to stop by, pick it up for me. You're more than welcome to do It's called The Originals by Adam Grant. I have a little bit left of here. I'm going to uh, finish it up next couple days. But on that note, I kind of want everyone to go here. Remember on April 18th, or excuse me, April uh, uh, April 13th, we do not have school that Friday. No, excuse me, April 14th, we don't have school that Friday. And then April 17th and 18th, we do not have school either. Our teachers have professional development on the 18th, and we come back on that Wednesday. So have a great weekend, everyone. We'll go from there. Hopefully weather is cooperating. Hopefully it warms up. It's kind of a cloudy, rainy last few days here. and sounds like it's going to continue this week, but we'll move on from there. Have a great one, everyone.